is my art studio. My name is Haley Morgan. I'm a visual artist that does watercolor and ink and pyrography. We built this art studio last summer. And by we, I mean my husband and my father-in-law. Uh, it's part of the process. I'm so excited to have this space to actually work in. And it came about uh, as a functionality where I really needed a space that had a lot of natural light um, that I could spread out and make messes in and turn into my beautiful art studio. So we started off by building a platform and I'll show you down here. It's a non-permanent, it's a non-permanent structure. If we're gonna get into the nitty-gritty let's start with the dirt uh, down here we have our cinder blocks that we put it on um, then we have the four by fours and we built a frame up on here the actual size of the deck is um, an unknown number that I can't remember off the top of my head <laughs> but I did want a porch because during the summer in Alaska if it's nice out I want to be outside making artwork uh, part of the reason why we have the big space with some workspace out here and also why I have French doors. When we started, I knew that I wanted a roof that was slanted and part of that is the nostalgia to my first art studio in a place that we were renting. It was really a shed that was attached to the garage but it had the slanted roof shape. So I knew that I wanted that and also I figured without actually knowing that it would probably be easier to build other than the peaked roof but I actually have no idea. Um, and then when we started the construction process our friend reached out to us and told us that her friend was getting rid of all these windows and would be willing to do a trade for clearing out some brush for a couple of hours for all the windows that we have along the sides. Um, once again, my husband did that. <laughs> He's amazing. <laughs> um, so we had all the windows and I knew that I wanted a loft as well. And so when we started designing it, I can show you kind of from this side. We really just looked at symmetry as far as the windows go. And the only two windows that we bought are the two up, the, up at the top because they were going to be specific and the other ones we could really put wherever we needed them. I would have liked a little bit more of a cross breeze, uh, but actually heat hasn't, getting too hot in Alaska hasn't been too much of a problem. Let's see. Uh, on the outside we have cedar siding. We found a big lot of it off of Craigslist. So that way we could do the exterior and part of the interior. My friends, my lovely, lovely friends, commissioned the metal piece above the French doors, which is my logo. logo. Um, I can't think of anything else about the exterior, so let's go inside. I can show you around on the inside. this is my creative space. <laughs> um, so something that was really important for inside here was to have a lot of different surfaces because most of the time when I'm working on things, I'm working on bigger pieces like this, which is the pyrography, which is wood burning, watercolor, and gel pen detail. So usually when I'm working on this style or this medium, I'll have several different pieces going at a time. So you can see that I have three different workstations where I can actually be working on them. I also wanted everything on wheels because it is such a small space that having that versatility in the functionality of the space seemed really important to me. I'm not sure for exactly what yet, but I'll let you know as soon as I do. Storage is really important. Uh, being able to access my tools quickly and easily uh, makes it so that way the space is even more functional. Uh, I try to keep paints and pens in here. Um, uh, we'll see if it stays this organized, uh, but I try to have that standard at least to begin with. 
Um, I have a drying rack that is over in the corner over here, also on wheels, which is really nice. So that way when I want to work outside, I can just pull this out there and place whatever I'm working on out of the way. Let's see. There's no water attached out here, but it being Alaska, there's a lot of dry cabins, which means this is on wheels. So it is a gray water system. So under here we have clean water in the gray tank and the gray water in the blue tank. It's fine. We, uh, we don't get them mixed up, don't worry. Let's see. This ladder can move out of the way. We have a place to hang it up over there. Uh, in the loft, it's currently just storage for a couple of things, but eventually it will turn into more of a functional space with housing inventory or extra tools up there. Um, hmm, what else can I tell you about the space? I wanted drywall on this side to reflect the light from the southern facing windows. We wanted all the windows to capture the light as much as they could, so they're all south facing and the doors are west facing, but that's also just a functionality of getting in and out of the space from the house. I'm not sure what else to tell you guys. Um, I'm so excited to have a functional and beautiful art space that I love working in. So please let me know if you have any questions and yeah, thanks. <laughs>